nomadic livestock herders in East Africa's dry lands have endured climate variabilities for many years now. Now, without proper forecasting technology, the farmers have remained completely exposed to the vagaries of the weather and resultant heavy losses. Not anymore. Two telecoms and engineers have developed an app that can be used with the simplest of phones. CGTN's Terry Wangari now reports from Kenya's northern Marsabit County. For generations, residents in Marsabit, which is in the north of Kenya's arid region, would study the sky for any sign of rain. Whether it's some wind here or a wisp of a cloud there, these signs help guide their livestock to water. But such divination is not reliable because of intensifying droughts. Those who relied on traditional methods were all caught flat-footed. In this part of the country, we heavily rely on livestock for our livelihood. For instance, because of the previous drought, at this time there are no goats and many people are facing starvation. Because there's no livestock, there's not much trading, so people here are idle. This is also why there is an increase in inter-community violence. People are stealing each other's livestock all because of the drought. Thanks to technology, nomads in this part of the country can now receive detailed weather reports via text message to plan their migrations. The message service is called My Anger, which means atmosphere in Swahili. This is Maryland Market, where buyers and sellers exchange livestock. As you can see, the market is relatively empty. This is because the My Anga app has given pastoralists information that there are greener pastures in Samburu, which is east of Marsabit County. My Anga is a good service. As I speak now, my livestock are in a place where I'm sure there is pasture because of the information I got from the service. I just don't get messages about Lysamis area only. I also receive information on other areas like Karare and Isiolo. As of now, because of the service, I have sent my animals to Kipsing, which is near Isiolo. That's how helpful the message service has been for me. Even those who hardly read or hardly uh, read English or Kiswahili, they can get it in. Uh, they can get information in local dialect, local language, because it is uh, actually tra uh, translated into four different languages, that is Rendile, Samburu, Borana and Gabra. That is, it's easier, it has almost simplified everything for the pastoralist community within the Samis and in the larger Marsabit County. The message service was developed by Amfratech, which began in 2013. The Kenyan farm was created to develop social solutions to societal problems using technology. It uses advanced weather data from U.S. agricultural intelligence firm AWARE to provide subscribers with rain and forage conditions for the week ahead in their locality. Basically how it works is uh, as Amfratech, we get this 9x9 uh, nine nine weather information from, from AWARE. Of course, using uh, uh, different uh, capability or different channels. So we use FTP to collect the data from the database. We use uh, API, uh, application programming interface, to now get the data. So what we do now is to do some aspect of value addition, to convert this data into a simple but actionable uh, advisories. A simple but life-changing resource for a community learning to adapt to increasing weather extremes. Amfratech has also rolled out a more advanced app-based version. They hope to eventually sign up tens of thousands of pastoralists. But rolling out their message service has come with its own challenges. I think one of the challenges is basically the penetration because it's a vast area. You know, and uh, this is, uh, first of all, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's drought ravaged, okay? And uh, therefore, you know, the population, you don't really get, uh, you know, a dense population at a, you know, at, at, at a specific time. My anger is just one of the technologies that protect not just pastoralists, but a sector that contributes more than 12% to Kenya's GDP. The developers hope to roll out the application to the rest of northern Kenya and southern Ethiopia. Terry Wangari, CGTN, Marsabit, Kenya.